VersaTitan, your cloud-managed SD-WAN and security solution, is actually managed through a cloud portal, as well as a mobile application. In this video, we're going to show you a quick overview of the actual enterprise portal. After you've bought VersaTitan, you'll receive an email from Versa that'll give you the instructions of how to actually get to your portal and what credentials. I've already logged in, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the portal. So what is the portal? The portal is your tool to configure, monitor, troubleshoot, manage your licenses and devices, as well as manage the users who have access to this. So let's look at configuration. In configuration, we're presented with a honeycomb view which shows how our site's connected, and you can see what sites are actually activated or ready to be activated. When you hover over a site, you're presented with the action of configure. When you go into configuration, you see the site information related to the location, the service type or license, as well as do you want to choose between easy picks, which are Versa default recommended configuration parameters, or do you want to customize that? We'll leave it at custom and go through the windows for you. As you go through configuration, there are three tabs, networking, security, as well as traffic steering. All of these can be pre-configured with the Versa easy pick option. In networking, you configure your wireless, you configure your intranet or your LAN, you configure your wide area network. And in your wide area network, you can then very quickly and easily choose between internet only, VPN only, or split tunnel for each of your individual wide area network interfaces, as well as toggle LTE off or on, as well as set the behavior of the interface. By default, LTE is set to be backup for all VersaTitan appliances that have been ordered with LTE. In security, things are already pre-configured. All of your firewall policies, your profile de definitions for blacklisting, whitelisting, URL categories, IP reputation, antivirus, as well as IPS. This was all done at point of purchase or by you selecting easy security picks. You, of course, can customize each of these particular options to meet your business need. Traffic steering is the same way. It's very simple and clean, not complicated. You have four default profiles, real-time applications, business critical, default applications, and low priority. So when we look at real time as an example, what's available for traffic steering? You can select applications or remove applications associated to steering actions for your circuit selection criteria, whether you want to uh, select a specific wide area network interface, low latency as an example, or low packet loss, select loss recovery for forward error correction, packet replication, or change how you want to load balance across your multi-link WAN. It's very easy to select or deselect applications from this particular profile. You can search by name, or you can go through the list of the thousands of applications and point and click and add them or remove them from the profile. So that's configuration. So now let's look at monitoring. With monitoring, monitoring provides you a quick and fast view as far as how is a site performing and behaving. As we can see, marketing actually is down. We look at Tokyo as well as Los Angeles. So looking at Los Angeles, let's look at the dashboard. The dashboard is very simple, and it provides you an instant readout of how the site performing. We see everything looks good at Los Angeles. Networking is okay. Security means it's been configured and your site is secure and your device is running. Each of these provide a drill down into the, the specific category. As far as networking is concerned, we see the interfaces. We see LTE signal strength. From a security angle, we get a quick readout both graphically as well as a list view of the URL categories that we see at the site, the URL reputations and the risks associated to those that we see at the site, as well as a readout of the applications either by category or by name and the bandwidth being utilized by that particular application. In addition to that, we can actually look at what devices are currently connected. In this example, no devices are connected either wirelessly or wired, and you can perform a speed test for internet connectivity or do site-to-site -site performance testing, we say, for example, between Los Angeles as well as Tokyo. In addition to the configuration and monitoring through the portal, you can troubleshoot. When you troubleshoot, you get an instant readout as to the site up or down, as you see here, and you can hover over and select troubleshoot. When you select troubleshoot, we present you with four options that are common issues, can't connect to the internet, can't connect to Wi-Fi, slow internet, or you, have, you cannot access some websites. Each of these goes through a wizard that helps you very quickly and rapidly identify and rectify an issue. The portal also provides you license as well as device inventory management. So you can get a list of all the licenses that you have purchased, whether they've been activated or not, what their expiration date is, and you can actually manage the subscription on a per, per line item basis.
The user field also allows you to add additional administrators to have access to your portal within your organization or configure them as enterprise users. An enterprise user only gets read-only privileges to all these various different sections. So in fast review, the portal provides you configuration, monitoring, troubleshooting, inventory management, as well as user management. All this can also be done with the VersaTitan mobile app.